Okay, Richard in Nevada, got your new George here. Thanks for the pre-order. So if you pre-order one of these, you are going to get one. So um, I actually have them available right now on the site. They show in stock. I'm waiting on a shipment. Um, as soon as it gets here, they will be in stock. So if you order one, you're guaranteed one because I have a max amount of, you know, whatever's there. After that, then it will say pre-order. And then what that means is you can pre-order one. When I can get some more, you'll be guaranteed one. So I don't foresee any issue getting these. Um, I'm sure that production is still running. So I think that this is going to be a radio that's going to be around for so long, a long time. Probably after the shipment I have coming in is gone. I probably will do away with the pre-order. Because I haven't seen anyone get a bunch of these in yet. My supply sources. So uh, when the pre-order becomes available again that means that I'll have some access to them. But I plan on keeping these in stock. So I have about I think 12 on the way or something right now. But they're held up right now because there's blizzard conditions out west. So... Um, and we got some bad weather heading into Michigan. So, you know, if you see them in stock on the site, that means that you're guaranteed to get one. Basically, if you see a pre-order, then if you, if you question the pre-order then just send me an email or something and ask me what's going on. If I pre-order one, when do you think I'll get it? And I can fill you in. I mean, I'm, I'm a straight up guy, so I'm not gonna, you're not going to pre-order one and I'm going to tell you, oh, you got to wait six months or something. So that's, that's not, uh, it's not good business. So. Anyways, Richard, I appreciate you pre-ordering, and I was able to get some of these in rather quickly, but now I'm out again, so, until I get the, the next shipment in, so, again, like I just said, if you order one, they show in stock on the site, I have some on the way, so, you'll get it as soon as I get them in and get a chance to work through the order. If there's more orders between now and then, then, you know, every order is put into the queue, and the orders are processed in the time that they were ordered, so... I go through a list. So this is the radio right here, Richard, for you. One thing I gotta say is they do a really good job packaging these. I mean, this is some, although it's cardboard, it's very protective versus, you know, just throwing it in there and putting that little thin uh, strip of cardboard, you know, other radios come with. So this is really nice. This covers like the whole radio. I really like that. It doesn't really, do a whole lot for the performance of the radio or anything, but it's just, it's, it's really nice. Right there it is, right there, Richard. So this is going to be yours. All right, Richard, here we go. Did my little uh, adjustment to it. So get stuff situated here. Um, <clears throat> this one, the most I can make it go is 3.95, 3.96. So, I mean, that's close enough to 4. It's not going to make or break the radio or anything like that so you know actually there it goes right at four so um i think it just has to heat up a little bit so that's about where i had it before it was four so you can see the rf power on this if you lower it down all the way it's about one so there it is right there one so you got 1 to 10, so level 5 is about 2.5, that's about where they all come in at, so level 10 is right at 4, so some, for some reason when I keyed up, let's see, yeah, so now it's right at 4, so for whatever reason it was just slightly below, but now it's at 4, so that's where I initially set it, so I was a little like, what happened, but no big deal, don't see anything wrong with the radio or anything like that, um, here's the transmit frequency, so that's pretty darn good for Standard radio, you're not going to find any radio that's a CB radio with sideband that is spot on frequency like this. So this is probably the best you're going to find for a good CB radio. Um, I never call 10 meter radio CB radios because they are not. So a lot of people confuse themselves with that. So here's the AM mod. This is all the way up. So right there. So here's my spectrum analyzer. So it looks really nice. Uh, average power just about doubles if not more and peak is about 16 so it's about your four times increase so it's about right not too much just enough you can obviously go up more but it's not good for the radio or the people on the other opposite end the receiving end so here is at level five so at level five the average goes to like double what we were about 2.55 and then peak is about 8.29 so there's spectrum analyzer there still looks nice 
all the way down. On the average goes to two point something. And the peak is about 3.55. So all the way around, it's a nice working, good sound and radio. I'm really happy with these. Come back and I'll show you SSB. All right, so we're on the low RF power end right now, so we can see. So oh, it's outstanding. I actually want to get on YouTube and try to see if I can find some more videos on this because I know uh, 390 Wagon Master said he was going to do some more videos. So I'm curious to see what he come up with over there. I think he's got another channel too, Breaker Broke or something he's called. I think he did some videos too. I like to watch videos just like everybody else. It They interest me and I like to see things. I don't generally comment, I just watch. I have a... Uh, a personal YouTube that I use um, that I don't have any videos or anything it's more just for sometimes when we do some stuff with our son we'll put some videos on there and send them unlisted or private to some family members or stuff just because it's easier to send a link than it is some of the older folks in my family aren't too computer savvy so here's the here's the spectrum analyzer on sideband this is with the RF all the way up so it's about 12.87 that's really nice so uh, I don't use my personal YouTube for anything radio related um, although sometimes I'll watch but most of the time I just watch on my business YouTube um, I still watch ads and stuff like that just like everybody else I don't have the paid YouTube just because you I run ads on my on my YouTube it helps me get a little extra income they don't give me anything free for that like I don't get free YouTube premium or anything so I don't want to pay them anything um, there was a time when they gave me some free YouTube premium. It was kind of nice, but I'm not going to pay for it. I just watch the ads. It doesn't really matter. You can skip them after so many seconds anyways. All right, Richard, I'm just going to do the final uh, test here. We'll talk into my NM532 here. Uh, I put the mic in dynamic, or I'm sorry, the radio mic type in dynamic for a minute. I'll switch it back to EL for you when I'm done. I got it set for the function beep shut off and I have it set to show SWR for you so you can obviously switch those two if you want to and now we're going to check sideband the power is all the way up so here it is with the power all the way up so 29 watts it's actually woo, 31 there so it's really uh, she's a talker that's for sure <laughs> um, you know it, it, for what I see for a, a basic, uh, C and I, I hate to call this basic because it has a lot of features, but this is the best I've ever seen out of a CB radio, so don't kid yourself on this one. It is a performer, and somebody commented just a while back about why don't you put the second final in. There's no reason to. I mean, a second final isn't a CB radio. A CB radio has always been single final. If you want higher power, then you know, get yourself a 10 meter or... Uh, I'm not endorsing running amplifiers, but run an amplifier. Do something. There's no need to, to mess up the radio. The radio works good the way it is. So I'm not. I haven't even opened the cover on one and looked inside. I watched other guys' videos that did. So all my radios come with the um, the seal safety seal for whatever reason they put on both sides. So I don't. I don't even open them up. There's no reason to. The president takes care of their customers. If there's ever a problem or anything. I mean, you all you gotta do is call them up or send them an email, and they're they're gonna they're gonna make it right, and that's that's why I really like President, and I always have. They make it right for the customer, and they offer rebates and stuff. So far, they haven't done anything yet with these, but I'm assuming that in the future maybe they will. So I, they don't tell me these things, so I, I'm not giving you guys any insider input or anything because I don't know. Um, they do have a rebate right now if you buy the the handheld radio. <laughs> The um, president, I uh, can't think of the name right now. The dog started barking. It just lost my train of thought here. But they do have a rebate on that. If you buy the handheld radio, you can send in the voucher. You have to fill it out send it in. They send you a desktop charger. The Randy 2, the Randy 2, that's what it is. So I do have those on the site. So if anyone's interested in a Randy 2, they are available. I drop ship those, drop ship those from... A supply source right to my customers and then you can fill out the form send in the receipt that I, you would get from the website and they're gonna send you a free drop-in charger that you can set on your desk there and, and charge it so anyways that's that this is the AM um, performance of the radio so 
So we've got, we have that four watt dead key. And then when I speak into the mic, it's gonna fluctuate anywhere from like the teens to the upper 20s. So, so there you have it. Um, if you lower the RF down, of course it's gonna do less. That's how it's designed. That's how it should be on all AM transmitters. Less RF power, less carrier, less forward peak. Um, this is a really nice radio. And I'm not going to do this any longer because I want to try to box this and get it sent out to Richard today if I can. I uh, hope that wasn't UPS. The dogs usually bark a lot more because he comes up and stands there for a minute and has to grab all my stuff. And the dog just goes crazy. So without uh, any more um, long, lengthy uh, rambles by me, I'm just going to call this one ready to go for you, Richard. And we'll get it boxed and get it sent on your way. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the pre-order again. 7-3.